Yeah, definitely check that out. Awesome, man. Well, it looks like we're live. So thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, honored to, to have you on, on the show. And obviously, I was on your show first, so that was, that was awesome. And, you know, so it's just a cool how the, the cycle can come, can come full circle. So uh, if you guys don't know Josh Pitts, he is the host of the Daily LO Live Show. You definitely want to connect with him on Facebook. Um, they have a show every single day, and uh, which, I don't know, in terms of consistency, you've got to be one of the most consistent people out there right now. Of, of running shows Thanks, man. Today. yeah man it's it's something that i decided and that's just it. i get all questions on facebook live and i'm just real quick to throw it back to you what you're doing with legion and the content the value what you're helping mortgage industry or mortgage professionals do is insane this guy's the real deal plus he's got a sick hat on i had to be like <laughs> him it is it's saint nick here ladies and gentlemen so uh no it's it's been one of those things it's just being consistent i just made up in my mind i just said i'm going to do it I don't care how it sounds. And as you know, with Facebook Live, it can be hectic. It can not. Sometimes the sound isn't there. Sometimes video isn't there. But just do it. Just get out of your comfort zone and make it happen. So, yeah, man, I, I appreciate that. But it's, uh, yeah, just being consistent with it. Yeah, totally. Well, cool. If uh, for everybody tuning in, make sure that you comment at number one to 100 down below the video. Um, I'll try to watch the comments if there's anything that I need to, to see in there. And, uh, of course, if you get any, any value, you know, make sure that you share this video. Um, and come back for tomorrow, right? We're going to have a tomorrow. We've got Bobby Stocks uh, is going to be on with us tomorrow. We're going to give away a done for you book package that we have. Uh, and then, of course, on Friday, um, I don't even know. We're going to have like 20 people on the call on Friday. Um, and we're going to give away a Legion membership for one year. So it should be, should be awesome. So yeah, it's awesome. So thank you so much for being here. Um, so, yeah, I know you said you had a cool tip. Obviously, you're the Facebook Live King at this point. If not, Zabi Sahil out of San Diego, who does this thing on all his lives. And Zabi's amazing at doing his Facebook Lives. You've got to be the most consistent at having a daily show. Um, and so I know even your tip is around, around Facebook Lives. You want to kind of talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. So here's the thing with Facebook Live. And I literally just got off a, a 45-minute webinar that I was actually teaching uh, with Jason Frazier with Marketing Interrupt talking about Facebook Live. And because I get so many questions, I literally, every single day, we're getting messages and messages like, how do you do this on Facebook Live? How do you do this? Like, it's not working, how do I do this? And probably one of the most, like you mentioned, the biggest thing that you can do is just start doing it and then be consistent with it. I'm not saying you have to do it every single day. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of content, but you just have to start doing it. And the thing that I probably learned the most is it doesn't have to be perfect. People the reason I like it so much is because it is authentic. It is raw. It is yeah. genuine. And people feel that. That's why live gets so many more views. That's why it gets so many more interactions. We started doing live every single day a few months ago. And we saw our interactions and our views literally skyrocket. Like it was insane from we were getting a few views on some of our videos. And next I'm just like, let's go live. Like, like, let's make this decision like you said. And I just made it happen. And literally, like we, we've increased like 400 some odd percent on our views and interactions. And so it's just a huge deal. People ask all the time, like, is it really worth it? Absolutely. Live on Facebook, it's the algorithms that go into it. Like that's a whole nother conversation. Right. But people interact more. There's so many more people, especially if you can get people to interact and engage with it. It's just super cool. And there's a couple of tips that I just want to give you when it comes to Facebook Live. And if you ever have questions, feel free to send me a message on, on Facebook and send me an email, uh, Josh at Daily LO Life. Join if we, it is a, a group for loan officers. You have to have an NMLS number, but you can join the Daily LO Life Mortgage Masters. And we talk about what we're, I mean, we share the things. Nick's been on the show. We have so many of the top professionals on the show sharing great things. But here's a couple of tips when it comes to Facebook Live. Number one is, like I mentioned earlier, you have to be yourself, be authentic. People have a bullshit meter when it comes to you being on Facebook. They see right through the crap. You can't, if you're not Nick and you can't do what he does or if you can't be enthusiastic and try to be like, don't try to be somebody you're not. Just be yourself. Your audience, which again is your friends on Facebook, they know who you are. You can't just fake it. You have to be you. With that being said, if you're not adding every single past client and if you're not adding every single borrower you've ever had on Facebook, you're insane. We hear about people talking about uh, past client databases, sphere of influence. That's Facebook. Like that is exactly what it is. And you're yep. doing these live videos to engage with them. Imagine this. I mean, how often can you actually sit down with a borrower face to face and talk to them? Can you do it once a day, once a week, once a month? No, you don't have time to sit down with all your past clients. 
but that's what Facebook allows you to do. You can sit down live, have a conversation with them, interact with them, which that's my second tip, is Facebook Live, one of the biggest mistakes I see is when somebody goes live and they're having an interaction like we're having now and then, is a comment will come through or somebody will ask a question or they'll engage, they're not engaging with them on Facebook Live. Engage with them. If somebody has a question, answer the question right there. Actually yeah. acknowledge like, oh, Nick, that's a sweet, a great question, dude. Or, hey, man, thanks for being on the show. Whatever well, it is. Especially, and, especially if you're actually on Facebook Live, right? Then it's so much oh, easier totally. because you see the comments coming through right yep. on the screen. You can see who's joining the call. So it makes it really, really simple. Yeah, really yeah totally. And, here's, and I want to give an actual technical tip. So when it comes to Facebook Live, there's a lot of technical, like you think it's super simple. There's a little bit, you have to practice. And that's what I want to tell you. When it comes to tech, practice, practice, and repractice. Nick yeah. and I were just talking about this with his episode with Luke when he was trying to have him on for the 12 days. It doesn't, it doesn't always go as planned. So if you're doing Facebook Live, especially with a guest, make sure you're getting on 15 minutes, 20 minutes before they get on or before you go live. So they make sure that you can hear them. There's no echo. There's the video quality is good. Just practice it. That's the number one tip I can tell anybody. Please don't just like, oh, I'm going to go do a Facebook Live and it's going to work great and it's going to be awesome. It can be, but just practice. Like it, we talk about being the master of our crafts and, and being the experts. If you're going to do something, try like actually put some time into it and practice it before you do it. So when it comes to Facebook Live, that's really it. You just have to practice it and don't expect it to be perfect at first. Like it takes time. I've done hundreds of these. Nick's, Nick's done hundreds of these. You have to just start doing them. And if it's okay, Nick, when it comes to the 12 days, you, you know I love giving a challenge. So if I could challenge you to do anything today is do a Facebook Live today. If you've never done one, cool, that's all right. Start today though. Go out and do a Facebook Live. If you're like, well, what the hell do I say? Like, I'm not like you, Josh. I'm not like Nick. I can't just go off the cuff. Yeah, you can. Like anybody can do it. Like just throw the Facebook Live on and say, hey guys, this is my first Facebook Live. Never done this before. I committed to myself in 2019 to start doing more of these and I'm gonna start today. So that's my challenge for you. When it comes to Facebook Live, I promise you, if you use it on a consistent basis that Nick talked about, you will see your audience not only grow, but you'll see those relationships that we're always trying to get back. We always talk about relationships in this industry. Those relationships, the trust, the confidence that your audience has with you will grow exponentially when it comes to using Facebook Live. Yeah, totally, totally. Hey, drop us a comment down and say yes or no if you've done a Facebook Live before. And let us know so we can get an idea, you know, for you guys if you need some, some tips around what to say. I'll give you one idea because I think it's an awesome idea just to go live today. If you're not, okay, I just need some kind of fodder or something to talk about. An easy thing to do is uh, put it on a past customer or somebody you're currently working with, right? So what you do is be like, oh, I just got this email today from a client. They were asking me this question and I thought there's probably a lot of you guys that want to know that same thing. And, and that'll give you an easy thing to talk about. So just pick like a common question you get. Okay, cool. It looks like a lot of people. Yeah, Walter. I know Walter goes live all the time. I see, I see his stuff. Mark, have not. Uh, Dorian, nope. Wow, Dorian, I can't believe you have it, man. <coughs> That's shocking. Put a bag on, man. Where's the old unknown realtor photo? Bring that back out. I got a, my page got a mortgage. Okay, Dan has, uh, Walter says he does three times a week. Awesome. Boom. Awesome, guys. Yeah, so cool, cool. Uh, yeah, man, that's a, that's a great tip. You know, um, like yesterday, Grant Wise, it's interesting because you talk about how doing these live videos, you'll create a way better relationship. But, you know, if you really think about it, it's like it's only a one-way relationship, really, you know, because they're only getting to know you a lot better. And, sure. uh, and Grant Wise calls it a, I think he called it a parasocial relationship. And it's basically how the same thing you can feel towards musicians or celebrities or, you know, um, athletes and these kind of things where you feel exactly. like you really know them. Because yep. they're sharing on social media, you know, you can do the same thing with your sphere. Um, yep. Oh, Dave said he's too scared. Uh, Joe, no lives lately. Chris hasn't done, done one yet, but it's on a short-term to-do list. Well, hey, today, you can't get any shorter term than today, right? There you go. Knock that out. <coughs> so, so cool, cool. Just do it. Yeah, do it. right. It's like the Nike. You got to just go for it. All right. Let me, I, um, yep. I'm going to pull up random.org real quick and uh, see who's going to be our winner today. So if you haven't already, make sure you drop your number down in the comments. You got about 30 seconds. And uh, hey, Josh, so if people want to connect with you, um, what's the best way for them to do that? Go on Facebook, Daily LO Life. Just search Daily LO Life Mortgage Masters or just Daily Loan Officer Life. You'll find us on there. Or just go to my, my personal page. I mean, talking about that, that's probably a question you get a lot too, Nick, is like, hey, do I go live from my personal page or do I go from my business page? There's a lot of differencing in opinions when it comes to that. 
personally, I use my, my personal page. I, I honestly think if you do it right, I love the book, Jab, 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 Right Hook by Gary Vaynerchuk. You can use your personal page when it comes to, again, throwing those little jabs in. You don't have to throw a right hook. Yeah. You don't always have to talk about business. Just be you. Like, I know Nick does an incredible job using social media, so you should be following Nick as well. But yeah, follow the Daily LO Life. Uh, and like I said, if you're a mortgage professional, join our private group, the Daily LO Life Mortgage Masters. And we share great people like Nick all the time. Awesome, man. Yeah, for sure. Definitely connect with Josh. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I typically do these things, you know, obviously we're doing all this from my personal profile. The only time that I go live on my business page is if I intend to run that, that video as an ad. It's the yep. only time that I do that. Um, otherwise, otherwise, I'm just riding the personal profile. Well, thank you so much, Josh, for being here today. I'm honored to have you. Thank you so much for being here, Josh, for uh, day 10 for St. Nick's 12 Days of Giveaways, man. Appreciate that. Dude, love it. Thanks so much for letting me hang out with you. Incredible what you're doing, man. Keep Keep crushing it. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. All right, man. Later. Later.